hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to talk about meta material and the ticker symbol is mm80 so guys uh, uh, i'm going to take a look at the fundamentals uh, of this company and also take a look at the chart of the company just see how this company is doing so you know if worth your risk of investing uh, but anyways guys let's let's get to meta material already so first i don't really know uh, what meta material does so i'm going to go to write to the profile here and just take a look at what they do so it says that uh, event design development and manufacturer various functional materials and a nano company composites its products include medicare uh, laser glare protection uh, eyewear nano bav a transparent conductive film hollow uh, optics uh, holographic optical elements glucose a uh, non invasive glucose uh, measurement device in meta for service which allow an enhancement in signal to noise ratio of up of up to 40 times uh, uh, for magnetic uh, resonance imaging scan the company also develops a uh, Uh, products uh, nano optics structure and color shifting foils they are used in authentication and brand protection application in various market include including banks notes secure government documents in commercial building in commercial branding as well as engage in the research development and manufacture of smart materials so kind of interesting still does not uh, uh, really make a tone of sense to me what they do i guess i had uh, uh, i guess i have to see one of their products but uh, so they are uh, they are tech company basically and uh, and uh, it looks like uh, they are doing things more like the metaverse space if i had to say and of course uh, that goes with meta materials but some of things seems like uh, they are technologies that you know like uh, holographic technologies things like that it seems like uh, they are going to be in the space so maybe i'm wrong sorry if i am but basically i'm just here to take a look at the financial and the chart so first the financial of this organization so revenue growth is good cost of sales gross profit is pretty good here i would say it looking at prior years pretty good operating expenses pretty good let's let's see the net income so looks like they have a negative net income so they are uh, they are taking a loss what is that uh, so their operating expenses are weighed high in comparison to their revenue so at first glance don't like it all uh, they are massively unprofitable company so the revenue growth you know looks like uh, looks okay looks pretty good i would say from year to year but in comparison to like their expense their revenue or their actual their expenses are uh, are you know 12 to 13 times right their revenue which is not good at all so they must be uh, diluting shareholders if we look at the balance sheet we can see how many shares have been issued year to year looks like that uh, one pretty normal so how are they how are they uh, how are they paying their bills let's see revenue not really sure they are paying their bills but i guess their cash would have gone down so if you take a look at their cash and equivalents against the cash went up maybe their debt went up and then as well current liabilities went up long term debt went up a little bit so that's kind of strange why that would go up without oh i guess their capital lease obligation went up a lot too this one an interesting one i mean they are common stock equity definitely went up a lot but the things that i'm used to seeing for cash to go up aren't aren't uh, really there so even their strictly cash has gone up a ton let's look at uh, quarterly and uh, we'll go back to the income statement quarterly by the uh, by the way you lo- uh, looks like revenue growth is pretty good cost of revenue not bad margin not bad but then again when we 
get to operating expenses you're just wondering like what in the hell is this company doing i mean they are operating expenses so guys way more than their revenue it's not even close i mean i guess now you could say well it's a eight time but not good not good for sure looking at it at that if we look at uh, net income from continuing and discontinued operating again still taking a pretty massive loss and i'm interested to see and if we look at the balance sheets uh, go to quarterly did you okay their debt seems to be increasing a decreased here but now uh, it seems to be increasing again in their cash their cash seems uh, seems uh, if i can scroll over a little bit so we have to do 13 to or 40 yeah they are uh, they are seems to be uh, burning through their cash pretty quickly and they went through the massive amount of restricted cash in this last quarter they burn uh, throw out uh, they, they won't throw about uh, half of it uh, likes so that's not and uh, you can see that uh, too that the total of assets of the organization are going down even if a transfer between categories they are losing what is that about 5% for uh, for you about 20 million so anyway they are burning through cash pretty quickly it seems and i just want to take a look at their debt quickly long term debt seems to be increasing as well not a great thing at all you know it's a basically double in the last year which is not great and if we look at cash as we have six, um, 630 we don't have 330 for some reasons or 331 but it look like cash has been cut in a half regular cash or actually more than half rate but the rest but the restricted cash is gonna just a ha just a higher but it's a come back down to a more reasonable uh, this was a massive spike here anyway if we look at the share issue hopefully they had they had bought back some share or something between the six months here and then what they did what they did was issue was more sure so this is in thousand so 286 million share so they are issuing about 2 million share to 3 million share a quarter is not horrible is not horrible because that's uh, that's about what one percent or two percent not horrible but to fund their operating operations uh, but they are losing money so they have to do something to increase their cash all right so another fee uh, free cash flow company with growing negative free cash flow now obviously cash flow from counting operation is negative because they are in profitable even when you add back uh, in things like deprecation that is um, that uh, is going to still uh, be painful looks like uh, they bought a business not sure what business that is but uh, that was a that was in the quarter of uh, 1230 actually in the last year of 1231 i'm going to look at quarterly so yeah i go back uh, their cash flow is still not uh, really improving uh, it is a pretty bad looking at it but i'm just interested to see stock based compensation so typically when it's an overbought territory is going to reverse to it so you could see this one you know come to back to down the 30 level where that is it's uh, hard to say because it seems to flat in rsi is super choppy because there's a not a lot of moment stories i will um, i will level out and uh, lower if it basically skyrockets like it did here the change in rsi in a daily basis will be less it's just the way uh, the formula works so it's a sort of reverse splitting here two for one or more for two they could uh, reverse split again if it drops under uh, a dollar who who really know so guys so guys i would not invest in it unless i saw like they are they they got a contract with a fortune 500 company or their sales completely blew it out and of water and they are starting to really pick up of their products for revenue because they can't uh, just have an uh, unprofitable company it's not going to really gain share price they are just keep losing money to oblivion 
eventually their assets will run out and uh, so what any anyway that's all i really have i don't have any price target on this stock or anything like that and uh, uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did consider subscribing and liking the video but anyways guys said i hope you have a great day bye